All right, now before we dive too deep into either instrument, let's just talk about an overview of uh, some of the basic similarities and differences. One of the main differences that you'll notice between these instruments right off the bat is uh, that with the simpler, there are three different modes over here that we can choose from, uh, which will change the way that we interact with samples. And uh, we don't have anything quite like that on sampler. If we look at simpler, the default mode is a classic mode, and this allows me to play the samples chromatically across different pitches, just like I demonstrated in the first video. All right, pretty straightforward. Uh, we also have a one-shot mode, which can be very useful if you want to use this to play back one-shot samples, let's say like individual drum hits, kicks and snares. Uh, when you trigger the sample, it'll just play all the way through. All right, don't have to hold that down. Not really what I'm looking for now, so let's get out of that. Uh, and then we have a slice mode, which is very useful. Uh, one of the more popular usages of the simpler instrument where we can take any piece of audio, for instance, like these drums, and slice it so that each note will be a different part of the sample. So, very, very cool. Now, if we go to the sampler instrument, sampler does not have a slicer. Uh, it does not have a one-shot mode. Uh, but there are quite a few things you can do with a sampler if you want to make a more complex instrument. For example, in Simpler, you can only load one sample at a time. But in Sampler, you can have multiple samples loaded at once. And we can load these samples uh, and place them in different key zones where only certain notes will trigger them. Different velocity zones where only specific velocities will trigger the sample. And there's also a sample selector, which we can then either MIDI map this or map this to a macro knob. Uh, so then we can select what samples get played manually. Also, Sampler is probably one of the more sophisticated instruments in Ableton Live in the sense that uh, it lets you do pretty much anything you want uh, with a combination of frequency modulation. If you're familiar with uh, Operator, you can do some cool FM uh, or even amplitude modulation to your samples in this pitch tab. Uh, you have very flexible routing with your filter and this wave shaper, so you can get some extra a distortion or warmth with your filter if we engage this wave shaper. And there's a ton of modulation options here that you don't have in Simpler. So depending on what you want to do, if your goal is to just chop up a sample and slice it, or you don't need to have multiple samples layered together, uh, Simpler is probably the better option. And that's why it's called Simpler, because <laughs> it's more simple. Uh, if your goal is to make a more complex layered instrument with multiple samples and tons of modulation, uh, then a sampler is probably where you want to look first. So with all that said, we're going to explore simpler first and uh, check out these different modes and some fun things that we can do with this instrument. 